All right, reciprocal function. Reciprocal function is actually a fraction function, which you can see in a fraction, which actually the main idea of this part is finding the asymptote. Asymptote is the line which the function never touches. So there we go, let's try that out. Um, find an example here. All right, okay, so we have x plus three and x minus two, fx. All right, when it looks like a fraction, it's a reciprocal function. So we're going to think about the vertical asymptote. Vertical asymptote is nice and easy, which actually helps you with the domain and range. Vertical asymptote, sorry, I need to spell that. Vertical asymptote is when the unknown, when the denominator equals to zero. We do not want it equal to zero. So what we're going to do is we will have it minus, so x minus 2 equals to 0, x equals to 2. So when x equals to 2, the denominator will equals to 0. Therefore, the x asymptotes will be x equals to c 2. That is the line they do not cross. All right, vertical horizontal asymptote is you are thinking if it's when x going to be tends to become infinity, what will that equals to? Think about if x equals to a big number, so big that this will not be, this two will be ignored. All right, so it will be canceled out, we become one. All right, think about if it's a so small number, a very small number. All right, this is so small that it will be negative. So, we will have saying that the horizontal asymptote will be y equals to one. All right, double check it with our equation, with our calculator. And that will be equals to one. There's another trick of it, it's like you arrange the denominator and the numerator into power of degree uh, power of degree of x, and then we take this two outside, cancel that out equals to one. So the horizontal asymptote is one. That only happens when you have a number like this. If you have a constant outside, you will have to multiply and put them together into one big fraction. So use it wisely.